Hi guys! We are going to talk to you guys today um, about some stuff that you guys have been asking quite often. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions lately on how we started, like what we did, what we ate, how we started from doing absolutely nothing to, to be where we are now. So we thought we would do a video and give you, um, I guess, our top 10 tips on what we did to lose weight. So the first one is um, increase your water intake. So if you're starting completely from the beginning, um, when we started, we ate, we drank like seven cans of pop a day and barely had any water. I think I might have had two sips, half a glass of water a week, maybe. And that, that was by accident. <laughs> yeah. So um, you definitely need to increase your water intake. You want your body to be hydrated and um, start with the recommended amount, which is eight eight ounce glasses a day. And just a quick tip. Even if you do nothing else, increasing your water, taking a little bit of the juice or the soda away and changing that over for water will help you a ton. Yeah. Yeah, and it might be hard to get down at first. I know it was hard for us at first too, but you can do things like put um, fruit in your water to flavor it, like slices of lemon or cucumber. I know some people get those, um, I, I think they're called water bottle infusers and there's actually a little spot in the middle where you can put fruit in or um, cucumbers, stuff like that, and it will flavor your water. So that will help you to get your water down. At first, I believe, I'm pretty sure we used to cut little pieces of lemons up and have them in the container and then I would p push them in my water bottle so that I would have lemon water all the time. Now I don't need it, but that is a good way to increase your water. Number two is eat more frequently. I don't know how everybody eats, but I know when we were extremely overweight, we would eat maybe one big meal a day and skip most of the meals. I wouldn't eat breakfast, I usually didn't eat lunch. I would just go home and use my not eating all day as an excuse to eat a huge amount at night. Yep, same here. So um, the most important thing to do is to eat frequently. Um, we started with three larger meals, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and two snacks. And just put your snacks wherever you feel you'll need them the most. And don't worry if you're not hungry. Because what happens is, um, when you are overweight, you can damage your metabolism, especially if you're skipping meals. Your body will lose the hunger cues. So what you have to do is retrain it. So choose a time every day. If you um, get up and you need to eat breakfast at seven before you go to work, make sure that you um, start by eating every day at seven. Eventually, your hunger cues will come back because you're repairing your metabolism and then you'll start to feel hungry again. And you should be feeling a little bit hungry. Your body needs hunger cues so, um, so that you can eat properly and nourish your body. And it might sound funny, but eating more frequently will actually help you lose weight. Yes, you do need to eat to lose weight. So um, start with five. You can also do six smaller meals. Uh, we chose three larger ones and two snacks and that worked for us. Number three is measure your food. We bought measuring cups, measuring spoons, and a food scale. Um, portion everything. And that's another thing, if you don't do anything except start measuring your food, you will definitely notice a difference. If you were to do any one of these things on our list, I would say this one is the most important. Because as soon as we started measuring out our food, we started losing weight and we hadn't even changed anything else in our diet. Um, because portions is a huge thing. Most people don't realize what one serving of pasta looks like. And they tend to take three or four or five servings. So just by reading the back um, and looking at the serving sizes, it'll make a huge difference. Read the serving sizes on everything, and if you're not sure about how much meat to start with, I, I'm i not a registered dietitian. I don't um, have 
I'm not a medical doctor, I can't give you advice, but as a guideline, I would say two to three ounces of protein for a female of lean meat um, or eggs or whatever, and maybe three to five for a male, probably four to five. So those are just guidelines, but you'll have to figure out what works best for you. But that's what Kyle and I started with. Number four is to move your body. Um, and if you're starting really, really heavy and you can barely move, that's okay. Do the best you can. Start with 15 minutes a day and work your way up to 30 about five to six times a week. But start with 15 every day because you're going to need to get your body used to moving in a way it's not used to. Number five is don't cut out any food groups. There are a lot of diets out there like the ones that say no carbs or all carbs, um, only fats and veggies or whatever. Um, but the most important thing when you're first starting out is to eat all the food groups but portion them. Make sure that you're getting a really wide variety of nutrients. Not only is the variety going to help you with your health, but it's going to help you mentally too because if you're getting a variety of foods that you enjoy, um, especially like if you really like fruit and you give yourself a portion of watermelon every day. So along with a, a wide variety of nutrients and foods, also the one thing that we recommend is don't deny yourself treats. Um, we had treats about two or three times a week um, and it, it was always lower fat, low sugar options like half a cup of low sugar ice cream and two sugar free cookies. We always portioned the treats out and we always made sure they were lower in fat, sugar and salt but we still allowed ourselves treats. When we got into the part um, where we made a mistake and we cut out all treats because we wanted to lose weight faster, that was when we started actually to gain weight because we started binging um, because we weren't allowing ourselves anything. So if you deny yourself, you might end up sabotaging yourself. So don't cut out anything. So number six um, is to switch to lower fat, lower sugar, um, lower sodium things, it's better to add your own salt to things because then you can control your sodium. So Kyle and I will often choose low sodium things and then we just add our own seasonings for flavor. Um, and I always add my own salt. That way I know how much I put on. Um, also, you want to switch at first to whole grain and um, whole wheat um, grains. And right now Kyle and I do eat white rice um, however, it's we're building muscle now. When you want to lose weight, the whole wheat and whole grain contain more fiber and that actually helps you lose weight because it will help keep you full and it will um, be slower digesting for you. So you do want to start with whole grain things um, and making that simple switch it's um, not that hard because a lot of foods are whole grain and whole wheat nowadays and they taste pretty similar to the white. So number seven, um, we have mentioned it through throughout a little bit, but number seven is to not skip meals. And we did mention the one reason about your um, metabolism might be damaged and so you might not have hunger cues, but skipping meals, like I had mentioned also before, um, can set you up to overeat later. And you don't want to give yourself an excuse to overeat or you don't want to set yourself up to get extremely hungry later and then eat way more than you would have taken in if you had just spread out your meals. Number eight is to read all food and nutrition labels. Um, often people get confused because they will say pick up a healthy food like yogurt and consume a lot of it because they think it's healthy and good for you but if you don't read the label and you choose a flavored yogurt half a cup of flavored yogurt generally has about 20 to 25 grams of sugar in it if you get the plain kind there's only five so you want to make sure that you're reading the label so you don't pick up something that has hidden fat sugar sodium or calories in it and also think of things like cereal most people think um, a lot of cereals are healthy, like mini wheats or multi-grain Cheerios, but if you put 
multi uh, one cup of Cheerios beside half a cup of oatmeal, even though the half cup sounds less, the half a cup of oatmeal is gonna keep you full longer because it has more fiber and it has more density and it's slower digesting. And that number eight will lead into my number nine, which is to choose more fibrous and slower digesting foods. Um, focus your diet um, a lot on lean proteins, veggies, and um, slower digesting carbs like oatmeal, sweet potatoes, even um, red potatoes digest a little bit slower than white potatoes do. Um, those things, like I said, have more fiber and will keep you feeling full a lot more. Um, and just try to think like for 200 calories, you wanna choose, um, say there's a granola bar for 200 calories that's not really going to keep you full. You can also, for 200 calories, eat a Weight Watchers English muffin with an egg and a fat-free cheese slice on it and half a cup of steamed veggies for 200. I'm just ballparking. You guys are probably going <laughs> to say that it's wrong. But anyway, that was just an example. So try to pick a meal that will keep you full over something smaller that's going to digest really fast. Number 10 is to have a support person. And as you guys know, we had each other. Um, some of you might not be as lucky, but always make sure you have somebody, whether it's checking in with us on YouTube or Instagram um, for support or a friend or go to an online support group. Or I know there are um, some people that have joined Weight Watchers or anything like that where you have a support system because you don't want to do this alone. It, it, you can struggle, you will struggle. It's normal to, do, to struggle. Um, you always want to have somebody there when you, when you are having a rough time. So those are our 10 tips and we did every single one of those and that helped us to lose weight slowly but evenly and to keep it off. Um, and now we're building muscle as you guys know. So. Um, we hope that this helped you. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. You guys not you guys inspire us probably more than we inspire you um, to keep going. So um, don't forget to check us out on Instagram and don't forget to like and subscribe because you know. You know, you see this? Boom. Bye guys. Bye guys.